side of the universe and the side of an atom, you need so many zeros stored on both ends, or you need something particularly complicated for a computer to work out, that it would be either really inefficient storing one number as a megabyte, or you would need okay. something... Okay, I don't know if the color's coming across. Maybe I should have done this earlier. These are just some mushrooms we came close to eating. Pretty sure they're not good. And I think I figured out what they are. Tried the little toothpick test. Just and they stain a yellow color, but it's not coming up very yellow. Hmm. I don't know if it does any good unless you get a really accurate. Just go like that, but the color's not registering on my Nano. It's meant to be yellow. Anyway, these are the kind you don't eat, even though they're, they're pink and brown and meant to be like what good mushrooms are. All the way to infinity, which is interesting. This is because what I think they are. First two-bit computers, the ones we generally use, we move a bit on now, first two-bit computers only store 23 significant bits. Yeah. <laughs> they also store a little better on the computer screen. Anyway, I'm not going to eat them. That's what floating point is. Um, so they say, all right, so we've got this long binary number times 2 to the something. And that's the problem. Because what it loses is precision. It doesn't understand the recursion. And there's an analogy for that. In base 10, if you try and write a third of a decimal, 